What is up Argyle Middle School and the people of YouTube? My name is Mr. Baker and I am back with another episode of Everyday Teacher. Once again, for you people asking, why does he say it like that? Because I want to, that's why. I'm very excited this week, and if you don't know, uh, I'm either a troll named Branch or a sumo wrestler. That's what people have been telling me. Today is Halloween. I know we dropped these videos on Wednesday, but we film on Tuesday, and this filming date is October 31st, 2017, Halloween. And I have a very special guest with me to here today on Everyday Teacher, and it is my pleasure to introduce Miss Christy Thetford. What's up, AMS? That was Thetford, maybe Thetford. How do you say it? Thetford. Ferd. I get so, a couple of thetties. All right. All kinds well, of stuff. Just watch it. So, as we do here at Everyday Teacher, Miss Thetford, I'm going to ask you some random questions about life, not about education and whatnot that you have to talk about all the time, but just about everyday stuff. You know, I want people to know that staff here at Argyle Middle School, they're just real common people. So, all I need is my questions. Running theme here, I can't find them. No pocket? I've been losing stuff a lot this week, let me just tell you. So, not down here. No yeah, I don't have a pocket. No pocket today. Not my troll hair. Oh, Hold here on. we go. Nope. I had them in my back pocket. I should know by now not to be doing this. Who knows, you may hear about this later. All right, here we go, Miss Thetford. I got some questions. Please answer to the best of your ability. What is the first thing you do or think of when you get up in the morning? Hmm. We're thinking of it now. Yes. Did I pick out my kids' clothes last night, or do I have to fight them this morning to do it? This will determine how early you get to work. Yes. I'm not going to say school, because that's not what it's about. No, just I mean, work. What I just said. Yep. Hot or cold? Ooh. I would rather be cold. Good. All the time. You're Just gonna, ask my kids. You're going to enjoy the next two days, but yes. Thursday, we're back to 91. No. I don't want to hear welcome to Texas. Welcome to the temperate, deciduous forest. <laughs> it happens all throughout the South and the Southwest. But we're only in the real South. Not yeah. over here. This is the Southwest. This is not the real South. Yes, this, this is, is a, South. an interview for later on. Hey, why don't you scoot this way? Oh, okay. Here. I'd hate for her shoulder to be cut off. I'm getting that sense it might be Kathy Baker esque. <laughs> in and Out or Whataburger? Okay. Neither. Can I pick neither? Hey, I mean, it's your your answer, uh, but if give you... Give me Taco Bueno, Taco Casa. That's tacos, burgers. I, I don't like burgers. At all. I don't eat... So if you I had to I don't eat be, fast food burgers. But you go to Taco Casa? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No fast food burgers. All right, then. Never. We got a new answer. That's what we do around here. Reese's or Snickers? Ooh. Reese's. Cold. Oh, freezer cold or... Freezer cold. Okay. I heard you can do this with Snickers. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you also lose is that your tooth. Nugget. No. Yeah. Reese's. That new will get your tooth. Oh, that's bad. What is your favorite Halloween candy? Candy corn. Love me some candy corn. Bags and bags of candy corn. This is a different cat, people. <laughs> no In and Out, yeah. no Water Burger, no. and candy corn. Heck yeah. All right. Kalachis or pigs in a blanket? Donut, glazed, regular. There's a conspiracy, man. No Nobody kolache. answered my question. No kolache. So you want no to, pigs in a blanket? You want Unless to, I'm in West Texas, then I will eat a kolache. Like West, comma Texas? Yes, West, comma Texas. Okay, Thank not you, geographic West. No. All right, here we go. Thank you, Oxford, comma. I think that's what that is. What is your favorite food? Steak and potatoes. Nice. Medium rare. Oh yeah. Yeah. Baked like potato you? loaded. You could put barbecue sauce on your potato? No. That's not, no. Shout out to my granny in Mississippi. She no. put me on that one. Yeah. Uh -uh. Barbecue chicken, mashed potatoes, they mix up. Woo! I would usually eat that while watching Scooby-Doo, by the way. Shout out to my every week viewers and my granddad. Moving on. Flip-flops or sneakers? Flip-flops. 100% flip-flops. There we go. Even in the cold. Albert Einstein or Fat Albert? Fat Albert, all, hey, the way, hey. all the way. <laughs> hey, Rudy. Yeah. Cowboys or nah? 
That means cowboys are no. I was like, eh, but because of my husband, cowboys. Absolutely, cowboys. So when you say, eh, who are you thinking of? Uh, I'm not a big pro sport person. I like college ball. They want it more. What is your favorite college sports team then? Ah, uh, Texas A&M. Get them. <laughs> <laughs> They've lost to Ole Miss like the last four years. Just say. Um, did Ole Miss win last weekend? They weren't pa- playing A&M. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but at least we you know, we didn't root for TCU and they right. lost. Well, since you don't like uh, – <laughs> Pro sports teams, I'm going to say right now we have the World Series going on, right? Right. Maybe. Which team would you like to win? Houston Astros. Okay. She's trying to be a homegirl. Yeah. Got to. What is your favorite cereal? Lucky Charms. Okay. Drink the milk afterwards? Oh, no. Ugh. Wait, but you like glazed donuts. Yeah, I don't drink milk. This is one weird interview. (laughs) What is your favorite cartoon? Oh, Tom and Jerry. Yeah. Old school Tom and Jerry. There we go. Which one did you root for? Tom, always. Okay, back in junior college, me and my roommate would watch Tom and Jerry. Shout out to Rail Fields over in Aberdeen, Mississippi. My boy. Uh, we used to watch Tom and Jerry at night, and we both used to get the biggest kick out of when Jerry would actually, uh, no, Tom would actually scream. It's few and far between, but it when is. that sucker would get hit, he'd go, Wah! Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Great times. We've had some good cartoon comments lately. Yeah. What's your favorite drink? Dot dark pepper or iced tea? Half and half. Sweet and sweet. Oh, not half and half Diet Dr. Pepper and... Oh, no, no, okay. no. Yeah, that'd be like last week, Coach Welk saying coffee and tea. Yeah, I saw that. No. Yeah. What is your favorite thing to cook? Ooh. I like to cook a lot. Let's see. Probably lasagna. Yeah. Yeah. Like making your own sauce or Absolutely. Yeah. From scratch. No, I don't make is the noodles. This lady, candy corn, but she makes lasagna. Yeah. Where we go. Car, truck, or van? Truck. Only truck. Only drove one car in my life and I'll never drive another car. So truck. Yeah. So truck. you would consider a big, big truck. SUV a truck? Yeah. Okay. I love my SUV. Not never a van. minivan. No minivans. Okay. Nope. Sorry, Baker. Yeah. The other one. What's the worst job you've ever had? Oh. Let's see. Working in a dry cleaner. Do you know how hot it gets in Stephenville, Texas in the summer? Sounds pretty dry. It's 140 degrees in that place. No AC. Did you come out smelling like the clothes? No. Oh. Worse? Oh, yeah. It was bad. Kind of like working at... No, I won't say it. (laughs) The national food chain. I'm not going to throw them under the bus like our guest last week. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? Invisible. Absolutely invisible. Heck yeah. You could do some things. I know, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everybody says fly. I'm like, but I can just get on an airplane and fly whenever I wanted to. You could totally go to a crowded place and just really do your own thing. Yeah. People wouldn't wonder why you're just you sitting there by for yourself. Free. Well, that'd be stealing. <laughs> well... Yeah, I guess so. All right. We're going to round this sucker out by saying complete the sentence. I always wake up. I want to say happy, but it's probably tired. We've heard this before. Yep. If I could meet anyone dead or alive, I would meet. Hmm. Dead or alive? Uh Uh-huh. So anybody. I don't know. Lucille Ball. Lucy. Yeah, I love Lucy. Love, I love Lucy. She just seems like she'd be funny and happy all the time. I would agree. Yeah, and you gotta love the polka dot dress. Whatever. I look for <laughs> blank in a friend. Oh, trust. Very, Absolutely very good trust. Work. Can't that be snitching on your friends. And my students. Yeah. Listen, students. If I was not a teacher, I would be a... Oh. She would be the letter O. I'd be O, I think. I'd be O. I don't know. That's a good question. Everybody says I could be a lawyer because I like to argue a lot. I I don't see it, but hey. So we're going with lawyer. Lawyer. Yeah. All right. Lawyer. Appreciate the props on a good question. You know, we try here at every day. I know you do. Absolutely. My name is Christy Thetford, and I am a... I am a amazingly awesome STEM teacher. Bam. 
Very good answer. I thought she might have went Monty Python on and say, a witch, a witch, she's a witch. But she didn't. Whatever. I tossed it up to you. That is all for this week on Everyday Teacher. My thanks to Miss Thetford, yes. who joined us this week and answered some very good questions. I hope you guys have a very, very happy Halloween. And from Argyle Middle School to the world, it's called World. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I forgot to ask Mr. Baker a question. Have you ever lost anything? Yeah, I lost these questions. Today. Recently, maybe Friday, last week. I vaguely remember something on Friday. What did you lose? I lost my car keys, my only set of car keys. You only have one set of car keys? Well, I bought an old car and you okay. know it only came with one set. And I thought to myself, self, I'm a responsible person. Why would I need more, one, more than one set of keys? Did you find them? Uh, no, I did not find them. Well, where did they go to? Are they still in your house? Uh, well, maybe. I think they might be in close proximity to my house or at the um, waste treatment plant for Denton County because uh, of the best of my knowledge, I flushed them down the toilet on Friday. And I got two replacement sets of keys yesterday, which Good. officially made my trip to the restroom on Friday, the most expensive trip to the restroom ever. Thank you, Miss Thetford, for asking these questions. Because, you know, I guess people really need to know about being responsible with uh, personal property. Then you're an everyday principal or assistant principal. So, hey. Touche. Uh -huh. So you're showing the world that I'm a normal person as well. Absolutely. I lose stuff. Well, so, uh, in the sense of normal, but yes. No doubt. Well, we all are. this officially wraps it up for this week, kids. Please remember to join us every Wednesday after school for another edition of Everyday Teacher. And also join us on Fridays for the AMS News every day after school on Friday, every day that is. Please make sure you like and subscribe and set for thank you. Absolutely. And this, as always, is at the time of the show when we say goodbye in our own special way. Holla!